Any ducks in there?
might have to shut this video down by the looks of it's calling for a chance of thunderstorms this afternoon but it's just solid clouds as far as I can see now to the west and that's where it's rolling in from so I'm not going to be able to keep filming even if I keep working it's unfortunate hmm wow this is a typical fall Hi everybody, welcome back to the cabin. As you can hear, it's pouring outside, so I'm gonna turn this, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna stop filming this section of the video, this segment of the video. Um, obviously, I can't keep working outside, or even if I put my rain gear on and work outside, I can't continue to film with this camera. So, I am gonna shut the, this portion of the video down. But, um, this time of year, I've mentioned a couple of times in the past, and I think probably the last two falls, I've talked about how at this time of year, I used to get really anxious as um, summer wound down, was winding down, and fall was approaching. It's a time of year that I wanted to be outdoors so badly, but my life was um, set up in such a way that I couldn't enjoy it. I always said to my wife and uh, kids that if I could have taken, um, you know, every September and and ideally even September and October off of work and uh, just enjoyed everything outdoors at that time, I would have done that. But, um, I mean, like most people, I didn't have that opportunity. But I felt so compelled to be outside that it, that it put me in a bad mood for like a month or, or two months. And I knew I had to make a change at some point in my life. Um, I think a couple of reasons for that is that I think there's a, uh, there is a response that a lot of people get to the changes of the season. So it's probably not completely... Um, unusual abnormal for me to feel that way but for me in particular uh, fall is a time to harvest and to um, be full or outdoors more often you don't have the, the heat of the summer cold of the winter and the bugs in particular that are bad in spring and summer in this area um, but more than that it's, it's hunting season and fish are very active at this time of year as well so for me that's what I want to be doing is to get out explore more of nature spend more time outdoors and that instinct that i have to hunt and fish is so strong that i need to have that outlet or it starts to depress me um, if you don't have that drive then it's really hard to understand but uh, it, it's natural it's innate um, i think a lot of men feel this way and maybe can't even identify it if they've never hunted or fish but fall is just harvest season and prep uh, season to prepare for the coming winter and that means food and shelter primarily so that's the drive that i have and now i've got my life set up in a way that i can do that i can take advantage of of fall fully so i've been spending all my time outdoors except for when i'm editing videos essentially or we're spending time with family but even my family time has been spent outdoors especially this uh, month of september so part of the reason i'm not going to show any more of me building or working outside in this video is that I've spent the last couple of weeks um, a lot of that time um, either with my wife exploring and foraging it's a mushroom season and with this rain the mushrooms have been popping up like crazy but also out um, you saw that video probably earlier this week where I was out at the 
the uh, outpost camp, the outpost property with Callie and we went fishing and then cooked up a, um, a meal of fish uh, at a campsite, one of the campsites I was considering for the cabin um, for a reason that you would have seen in that video. I've ne since identified a, a more private, uh, quiet spot on that land that I can build the next cabin, that trapper cabin, trapper's cabin. So I'll be doing that um, some point, may get started on this fall or, or maybe not. But in the meantime, I, and I am spending more time in that area scouting for the upcoming uh, deer season and uh, also small game hunting in that area so i will be spending more time doing that so i have also been doing that over the last week um, going for walks exploring the area like i always said i was going to do more of this time of year it's a great time to do it so you know hiking rivers up up river banks and and looking at the checking out the waterfalls uh, really appreciating the fall colors so a lot of the rest of this video is just some drone footage and some um, some film clips and some photographs of the season changing here in Ontario. Um, it's not peak yet, probably another week or so, week and a half maybe before we hit peak color. So I'm going to continue to document that as well and I'll release another video probably in a couple of weeks just showing the complete transition from summer to fall. Um, feel free to watch it or, uh, or feel free to tune it off if you're not interested in that. It'd probably be set to some quiet music just to uh, relax too. But um, you know, part of the reason I do these videos too is for my own enjoyment as well as yours. And I like to look back and um, sort of treat these videos as a, as a video journal of my life. So that's why I'm filming so often and I'm releasing so many videos on both channels. I, uh, I'm, I actually still, I mean, I already go back and look at videos that I made up to four years ago and I enjoy just reliving them. It's like reading your own diary. So I'm going to continue to do that and show more and more. But um, this is, like I said, my favorite time of year. So to fully document it and then just put it at the end of a video where uh, maybe it's not so annoying if you're not into that kind of thing. But if you are, like I said, I hope you enjoy this segment. And uh, yeah, please keep tuning in and, and uh, see how fall progresses and how early winter hits this year. Last year it hit early, mid-October, snow stayed. Uh, that was probably three weeks earlier than normal so i'm looking forward to seeing what happens this year and i feel a lot more prepared and uh, these projects are far enough along that i can continue to finish them off even if it does start snowing anyway i'm going to tune out i'm going to probably edit videos for the rest of the day if this rain doesn't stop and then get out and do some more hiking tomorrow before i get back to the sauna so thanks a lot for watching this video i really really appreciate it and i look forward to seeing you up at the cabin next time take care